Welcome to Mac Connections, the podcast. Keeping connected and looking after yourselves is so important during these changing times. We trust the following conversation will provide some helpful guidance. If you have any concerns, please get in contact with staff in the Year 12 team. We want to be able to provide all the support we can. Our patron, St. Mary of the Cross MacKillop, wrote in 1875, May God bless and keep you and give you courage. We acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this podcast is recorded. We pay our respects to their elders, past and present, and to the Aboriginal elders emerging. Episode 11, the VTAC Newsletter. Here is your host, Director of Wellbeing, Mr. Andrew Exton. As part of support for our senior students, during this period of remote learning, Ms. Sama, our careers counsellor, is put together or is putting together a newsletter for students to be aware of all the opportunities in careers and pathways as they exist right now and giving you information about how all our tertiary institutions and TAFE institutions are adjusting to this period of remote learning. Ms. Sama, thanks for putting this together. Could you just give our students a bit of an indication as to the type of information that you're going to be sending out in this newsletter and why it's really important for them to make sure they have a, have a look at it when it gets sent out? Sure. So the initial newsletter will be um, released tomorrow. That's Friday the 21st of August. And basically that one will be recapping from previous annou announcements, basically VTAC and the application process. There's also links on the newsletter, so referring to or making reference to the recorded VTAC webinar, which will cover the process involved for their application. There's other links and other resources, so how to apply VTAC and the application process. Um, there's also a VTAC E12 guide and how to use the course search as well just in case they've forgotten on, you know, how to find in particular specific courses that they may be interested in applying for next year. Um, and just a few tips um, to remember when they're applying for courses and what to look out for. And also there'll be, men there'll be a special mention about the VTAC Special Entry Access Scheme, um, also known as CES. That's really important, isn't it, Ms. Sama? Because it's a, it's a really important aspect of the application process and probably something that has been underused by our students in the past. As well in the, in the newsletter, there's gonna be information about how tertiary and TAFE institutions are conducting virtual open days and information. I think one of the things having looked at the newsletter, Ms. Sama, is that we've lived, they're obviously living in really um, tumultuous and changing times. And there's lots of changes, isn't there? And adaptions being made with regards to the requirements of different courses, the way courses are going to be delivered the um, requirements that students need to have for courses. And you were mentioning before, nursing is always a really popular area of study for our students once they leave MacKillop. And even with nursing, there's some changes that are happening with regards to the requirements for the enrolment in nursing courses that students need to be aware of if they're considering that. Yes, absolutely. So this year they've introduced um, a, a requirement which is quite essential for those that are applying for nursing and midwifery courses. And basically it's about a declaration indicating that English is their first language. So there is a form that you can download from the VTAC, uh, you're, you're at their actual VTAC account as part of the additional requirements. So it's basically just completing that and signing and stating that, yes, English is my first language. So that just demonstrates the way that things are changing and also the additional information that students need to be aware of. Now, there's an old fashioned saying that information is power. And I suppose in this time for our students, as much information as they can get is really important. And they need to be aware that there's information that we're doing through video like today, there's the newsletter that you're putting together, there's the VTAC webinars and the recordings that we've done to support students. But you're available, Ms. Sama, Monday to Thursday via email, working remotely. I know that I'm working with you to organise 
different meetings for students if they wish to have meetings via Zoom. It's really important, isn't it, that if they've got any questions throughout this process that they just send you an email and you're going to be available on those Monday to Thursday days to answer any questions and, if need be, spend a little bit more time with students ensuring that they're getting exactly what they would like to get out of this year for their tertiary or TAFE studies in 2021. Yes, absolutely. And any additional requirements that need to be completed, if they have any questions, it's so important that they, they make contact. So this little introduction will, will go out with the newsletter that will get distributed tomorrow through your email students and also through other various means of communication and will go out to the wider community as well and for our parents as well. It's really important you access that information. Stay in contact, stay in touch and stay connected because if we do that this time next year when you're doing your course or you're working or you're in university, It'll probably make everything that you've been through this year feel worthwhile because you're doing what you want to want to do. So we hope that uh, that helps. Miss Sama, thanks for putting this together and it'll come out reasonably regularly for students over the next few weeks and months before they actually complete their um, year 12 at MacKillop and then even beyond with support around changing courses and preferences once results come out. So thanks for doing that. And um, we look forward to the students getting in contact with you if they've got any questions about their pathways for next year. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks. No worries. That brings us to the end of this episode. A reminder, if you do need any help, if you have any queries, questions or concerns, please contact a member of the Year 12 team. Be kind and look after yourself.